I am going to work. But here I am, still dragging my feet. I'm torn between packing my hair and just letting it stay like this. I think I'm going to let it stay like this. This is going with me to work. I always like to carry a very tiny perfume to work. Let's pack my hair like this. I think I like it. It looks nice. Okay. Guys, I'm trying to set this light to vlog in this kitchen and see what that will look like. Ooh, this light is blinding. What? I just hope that it works. It does. I think it's going to work. So let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. Guys. Oh, I legit cannot see properly. This light is something else. Let me try keeping it here to see if it will be a different effect. This doesn't look bad. <laughs> this is way better. So I want to check what it looks like in my camera then we can start vlogging. So hi guys. Hi. Today is Wednesday and the time is currently past 6. It's almost 6.30 actually. And look at the brightness of this place. Like wow. Anyways, today I'm trying to make a list. I need to do grocery shopping. I haven't shopped in the past three months. I think the last time I shopped was in February. Was it February? That was like before the general elections, right? Mm -hmm. I like making my list maybe like a week or a few days before I go shopping, right? Which is the main reason why I'm doing it now. So I do it because I don't want to forget anything. If I make my list today and I have to shop that same day, I might end up forgetting a whole lot of things. So I just make my list earlier just in case I forget something and I remember I can easily just go back to my list and just add it to whatever it is I already wrote down. And then another thing I do is I move from one part of my house to the other. So I always like starting with the kitchen. Sometime last year, I bought a meal plan. Huh, you guys, you see the way I'm taking this, my weight gain thing seriously. The only problem is that I've been talking about this weight gain thing for like, God knows how long. So last year I bought a meal plan from a lady. Uh, my sister introduced me to this lady. And I haven't used it yet. So I decided to just look at it today and see if I can actually get something. So that while I'm shopping, if there's anything, I can easily just add it to my list. So this is it. Yay! Weight gain food plan. So I have a timetable. So this timetable is supposed to be for two weeks, right? So what she said is after two weeks, I'll rotate. So I'll do I'll do the I'll do the timetable for the first week. And then the next week i'll move to the second timetable then after that i can go back to the first timetable so i'll just keep rotating them like that so i have oatmeal i don't even like oatmeal i have noodles i don't like noodles oh my god then rice and vegetable sauce fish with fried potatoes there's actually a lot here there's actually a lot that i need to do and the truth is, this meal plan is actually expensive. Expensive in the sense that for me to actually follow this thing judiciously, I am going to spend money. Am I ready for this? I think that's the main reason why I've always just found a way to put off this list. So every time I want to start, I'll just put it off. Well, let's see how it goes. Giz dodo. Potato. I don't even know how to make giz dodo. Plantain frittata. Oh yeah, so the good thing about her meal plan is she also took her time to explain how to make most of these dishes. So there's an explanation for how to make gizdodo, how to make plantain frittata, how to make coffee smoothie, oatmeal shake. So she just did like a whole lot of explanation. I really like that. That's nice. I also have lots of smoothies here. Hmm. And I really like them so guys look at my blender this is the blender i used to blend my banana smoothie but right now as i'm seeing all this plenty smoothie smoothie watermelon and all that i don't think this would do a good job for me so yesterday i actually tried shopping for blender there's this blender i saw online that i really like and um, what do they call it nutri bullets yes nutri bullets blender i went on this site aliexpress to shop for that blender and 
i saw a couple of them but the problem is that the blenders were not branded right i didn't see anyone that had that nutri bullet oh my god did they just flip this like this people wants to spoil my fridge ha ah. so i saw them had that biola something and then the chinese inscription and everything so i'm not even sure if I should buy it or not and then also for the fact that i haven't shopped from aliexpress before i only went on that side because i saw lots of reviews like people talk about it a lot on twitter right so i just wanted to try to shop from there and see what happened but because i wasn't seeing that nutri bullet i didn't want to go and buy what i ordered versus what i got i don't want a situation where i'll buy the blender and after like two weeks or one week to get bad i think it would pain me really well so i went on jumia and i saw exactly what i was looking for nutri bullets blender but the problem now is the one i saw on jumia is like times two of the price i saw on aliexpress right so i'm just like torn between buying from jumia or just trying to like testing the aliexpress because this will be my first time buying something from aliexpress all right guys so let's make a list Okay, so I'm done. Um, let's move over to the bathroom. Guys, look at the difference. Let's try it again. Oh, look at it. <laughs> yeah, no, off. The next is my skincare. Sincerely, I don't even know if I want to shop for skincare this month because my face has been rebelling. My face is going through a lot. So I think that is it for my list. coming back from work i just got home now i want to wash up the dishes last night they took the light again and the water finished and i just wasn't in the mood to start taking water and washing plates i like when the tap is on as i'm washing the plates the tap is just pouring <laughs> it gives me some sort of vibe i don't know how to explain it but i like it a lot so i don't want to do so much this evening I'm a little bit stressed out, so I just want to rest. This kitchen is looking like my favorite place to vlog now because of the position of the light. I'm using the light again. It's so interesting.
good morning so today's friday happy weekend guys i am currently leaving the house now i have an appointment for 11. i am legit tired of this hair i don't know how to pack it i thought i was going to like style this hair in so many styles <laughs> when i made it i thought that was was going to happen but right now I can't, I can't, I can't just deal with it. I don't even know if this is nice, but I'm going to carry like this regardless. I don't want anything touching my face today. This too. Let me just manage and deal with this too. But this one's at the back. I don't want them anywhere near me at all. Yesterday, I went to work without earrings. When I got to the office, I looked in the mirror because I have a mirror in my office space and then i looked in the mirror and i felt like something was weird with my face but i couldn't really place it <laughs> so it was when i got to miss k and then i took like a very short video of myself that was when i realized that i wasn't wearing earrings and i'm like i knew it i knew something was off <laughs> it's so crazy i don't know what i did with this bag oh, this place is bent maybe i should iron it <laughs> I'm not gonna spray my bag. I am currently searching for an apartment. Actively searching because I have less than a month to actually pay for rent in this house. Okay? So I'm trying to weigh my options. If I can get something nice before my due date for rent payments here, then I'm going to move. But if I do not get anything nice, then I'll probably just retain this apartment and try again next year. Deep down, I really want to move though. I really want to. I, I think I want enough space. Right? This house is a little bit limiting. Most of the things I really want to do, especially my content and everything, it's so difficult to get good angles around the house. There's this satisfying feeling that comes from drinking coffee and then after you drink very cold water. I cannot explain it, but if you know, you know. Okay. So, I need to check which of these glasses would go with my outfit. I really like this particular glass, but my problem with this glass is it keeps sliding down my nose. So when I wear it, before I get to where I'm going to, or before I even walk halfway, it's already here. And then it's pressing my nose together. So it's like I have to keep adjusting and adjusting. I hate it. I hate adjusting. So that's why I had to wear this glass to be. But let's try this one. I'm already sweating. Ugh. So it shall always look nice. Okay. I think this works better. It's not going to stress me at all and then there's another trick i learned let me show you guys so if i have to step out and maybe i'm not taking uber or anything this is what i do so i get a piece of wipe and i just remove the water yep so i press it and make sure it doesn't have any water in it and then this is what i have left so when i'm stepping out i take this along so once i feel sweaty all i do is to just dab 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 so because this is a wet wipes it doesn't really take out some screen i have on my face compared to if you have like a handkerchief or something i feel like those things will end up taking the sunscreen out or whatever it is you have on your face so i just dab 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 so this works perfectly you can try it you're welcome <laughs> let's go see you guys later all right <laughs>
good morning <laughs> okay guys so today's saturday um i went house hunting yesterday and i went to work i checked out about five apartments and out of the five apartments i saw it was only two that i really liked in fact there is one of the apartments that i am so in love with and guess what it is just a street before my house when the agent um told me about the apartment and the location and everything i didn't want to i didn't want to like say anything or tell him that it was very close to my house you know but deep down i was really excited and when i got there the apartment was Mwah! it was sweet and then the first one i checked which i already attached to this video was also very nice but guys the remaining three <laughs> there's nothing to write home about house hunting in lagos is the real ghetto so i'm not really going to say so much about the whole experience here because i have plans of making a separate video on my moving when i started my channel i did a video on my house hunting experience how i got this apartment and everything so i couldn't really do like an in-depth video on that because while i was searching for the apartment i hadn't like started my youtube channel then so i didn't really have so much videos and everything so i think i just did like right yeah i just did like tips i gave tips on how you can actually search for an apartment so basically i'm trying to use those same tips i gave earlier in that video i'm going to attach the video so you guys can check it out that was actually the video that got me lots of subscribers and i got lots of comments i think currently that video is at 4,000 views that's like the highest views on my channel i'm so excited and i feel like the video is going to keep growing but anyways since i couldn't really do like an in-depth and proper house hunting experience i decided that this time around i'm going to actually share a proper house hunting lagos experience on the island especially so yeah so that's the reason why i won't be saying so much about it but one thing i need to just drop before i leave is that lagos landlords are the absolute worst because how do you put an apartment up for a crazy amount which i'm so scared to even talk about <laughs> for the area where i stay you put on a you put up an apartment for that amount and you're so adamant with the price because the first apartment which i showed you guys that was the one i actually really like and the agent was trying to you know like speak to the landlord about it and try to see if we can get like a negotiation deal or something but the guy was bent on a certain amount like it's crazy so deep down I think i mentioned it earlier that if i keep searching and i don't find something that suits my budget i would just retain this house in peace so yeah i don't even want to go into details anymore whatever happens guys i'm definitely going to carry you guys along you guys are going to see everything because this is like a major life update for me right now we are almost at the end of the month the end of may and we're entering like the sixth month of the year so there's a lot of things that will be happening with me and i'm definitely going to be sharing them with you guys so this house hunting thing and moving houses and everything is also going to be part of the experience so yeah <laughs> okay guys so i'm going to be ending this video here um i don't really have much to do today again so i just wanted to give you guys an update on everything that happened yesterday so i'll see you guys in my next vlog and please before i go if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do well to hit the subscribe button it's showing there just hit it just encourage me by hitting the subscribe button i promise you like i would always say it doesn't hurt anybody all right i'll see you guys in my next vlog i love you all bye